The UK is host to a mad array of marine life with over 40 different shark species, all the way from small sharks to absolutely gargantuan things, along with a couple different species of seahorses and also a crab that was once extinct in the UK, but is now back. And that isn't even scratching the surface. And while all of those things are potentially something that we could be finding in this video today, we've got our hearts firmly set on one of those things. And that is gonna be the crab that used to be extinct but it isn't anymore. Although it would be cool to come face to face with a shark because this was spotted just a day before filming this video on the exact reef we're at. So that would be great to see sharks in the UK. This is day two of my Cornwall trip. If you did actually miss day one, then head back to that one, filming some rare venomous snakes here in the UK. That was wicked, go and check it out. For now though, we are here with the boss man himself, JJ Rims. In my hometown now as well. Hometown. Well, current living situation, wow, Falmouth. Yeah. Falmouth, here it is, by the way. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And today, what are we doing, boss? What are we doing? We're going for a quick little snorkel. Just down here? Yeah. What do we expect to see down here today? Uh, Can we see something good? It's like, are we going to yeah. see something good? I ain't got a clue, by the way, because... We should, well, it depends on what you consider good, but we should see some cool stuff, like spider crabs. Some big massive crabs. crab yeah that's pretty cool yeah um, that's gonna scare me i reckon they do look a bit like aliens as well right but um at the moment there's loads of sand eels around which is quite cool because they're like glistening in the sunlight hold on actually can, will we see a little sea hare sea hares we should yeah there's, last time i was in anyway there was there everywhere because it's like their breeding season right so you sent me a photo of one of them and i didn't think it was a real thing i just thought it was a bit of seaweed but it's a little like Slug looking, like a sea slug, yeah. yeah, sea slug looking thing. Yeah, he's got a little, yeah, he looks like he's got ears. So, we're gonna try and find some of them anyway. We're gonna do some rock pooling as well down here, see what we can find down here. You excited? You yeah. think we're gonna find something decent? I think we will, yeah. You guys might have to do some ideaing in the comment section down below, but um, yeah, we're gonna get down there now and get ourselves wet. In the water. Is it gonna be cold or? Uh, considering it's England, yeah, ah, it'll be warmer than like Scotland. Positives. This video is sponsored by Gentle Bands. Now the legends at Gentle Bands sent me a ring of my choice to showcase to you. It comes really neatly packaged. But if we head inside as well, the first thing you will see is a certificate of craftsmanship, which shows you when this ring was made and who it was made by, which is really cool. If we remove those, we then finally see the band right here. Now this ring right here from Gentle Bands is called the Spark. And the reason that I chose this is because of what it's made of. This is made of black plated tungsten, which is one of the strongest metals on the face of the earth. But even better than that, in the middle here, there's two really cool things. Number one, dinosaur bone fragments from the Hell Creek Formation as well as ore from the Mjolnolusta, great name, meteorite. So in this ring, you've got some mad old stuff and I thought it looked wicked. Look at it, ah, cookie with the bling. Now, if you guys wanna go grab something like this, there's a whole host of different things that you can choose from from the website. But if you use cookie 25, you will get 25% off your order total. So guys, go and check it out. Get your kit off then, give the girls what they want. I know I'm like JJ Rims now, but like, that ain't going for free. Man's got the big flippity floppers. Do I have any of them or? No, you just have a pair of shoes that I've been kind enough to you know, give you. Oh, I'm built different anyway, don't worry about it. Wait, here he goes. Here he goes. Get that no. open. Jeez. Nah, my tan line at the Oh way. my goodness me. Nah, look at these. Cover him up. Though. Cover. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, over here on the Wildlife of Cookie Channel, we always cater to everybody, so. I mean, you might be that way inclined as a man or as a woman, you might be loving this. Or as a straight man, you might just appreciate what you're looking at. That's a specimen, isn't it? 
I'm not in a wetsuit today. I'm just in my shirt and then shorts. You're gonna be like Jack at the end of Titanic. Where he just like freezes to death. What have we got here, mate? What is it? Sexy beast, that's what we got. Yeah, what about the camera? Oh yeah, um, anyway. <laughs> Nah, it's just a little like Sony point and shoot. So it's nothing like camera wise amazing, but just put it into a nice underwater housing so I can get better quality stuff than the GoPro. So Jacob's really excited with this sort of stuff because there's like a really rare crab, a little hermit crab here that he really wants to see. So hopefully as we do some rock crawling in a bit, we might be able to see something like that. That'd be really cool. But also out in the water, We've got a chance, maybe, slim chance, of seeing cuttlefish and some sharks. Um, not big sharks, maybe some great whites, maybe. 100%. <laughs> Every time I get swimming here, I bump into a great white. No, but something that does actually come round here, What the big one, what is it? We get basking sharks. Basking sharks do come round here, and they have been spotted off this beach, right? They're, yeah, in the past. They're like, the, in the bay, we get basking oh, sharks, way. and we've also, uh, well, I haven't seen them, but um, in the past, we've seen sunfish. So if we get one of them today, it'll be amazing. Obviously, like, we're not going to hold our breath. Do I look ocean certified? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So look at that. Yeah. Mate, fam, have never seen something so beautiful hit their shores. Oh, mate, that's freezing. Look how calm this is, by the way. Oh my God, yeah, it's wicked. Proper calm, clear day. <laughs> I feel like I was swimming through a forest. You have to bear in mind, the only time I've ever done this is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, just to settle a little flex. And I saw everything straight away. So right now I'm a bit like, where's, where's, all, the, where's all the animals and that? So, so far, it's devoid of any fish, like none whatsoever. Where are the fish at? Nice spider crab rug loads. It's hiding in the kelp. Yeah, did it, mate? Not much around, surprisingly, because you just like this. Fiv into me, I think. <laughs> right, right, shall we uh, shall go to the rock pools or something? Let's go see if we can find some cool stuff in there, yeah. Sweet, let's go. 
I mean, there are fishies in here, but that's, we've seen more in here than we did just out there, mate. You know that. <laughs> so, what are we looking for here then? We're in a rock pool. What are we doing? Looking for anything really. Crabs, hermit crabs, little fish, shrimp. There was one that you said is like, was it critically endangered? Or well, like no, mega rare, uh, extinct, was extinct in the wild? The St. Piran's crab, which is like, if you know anything about Cornwall, St. Piran's like the patron saint of the county. Right. And it like disappeared off UK shores in the 80s. Only quite recently was rediscovered here on this, on this very beach. Right well. on this beach? Yeah. Oh snap, okay. So we're looking out for a St. Piran's? What? St. Piran's, yeah. St. Piran's crab, hermit crab. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, here we go then, looking through all of this. Can we find St. Piran's crab? St. Piran's crab didn't actually have a common name until 2016, as it was just known by its scientific name. In 2016 though, after its rediscovery, BBC Springwatch ran a competition to give this crab a common name, and St. Piran's was the winner. As Jacob has already mentioned, that's the patron saint of Cornwall, who was described as a hermit himself, so the name is quite fitting. Now, this crab we're looking for is the rarest crab you can find on UK shores, and from 1985, was actually considered extinct in the UK after their population was decimated by an oil spill a few years earlier. They remained extinct in the UK right up until 2016 where the Cornwall Wildlife Trust were doing a survey and a photographer named Adrian Rowlands located some at the very beach we are at for this video and hopefully we can locate some of the little guys today too. That's not very good is it? The crab's had a bad day there. What you got for me? Oh! Tiny crab. Hello! Check him out! Oh, boss. He's the right little diddly thing, isn't he? Yeah. That ain't your Pyrians, is it? No. Nah. So what we got here, what are you picking up? See them? Yeah, what are they? Little Pine worms. fish. Uh, fish. <laughs> That's a worm. <laughs> like it. Can, can, I, can I hold that? Just kind of scoop it, like, don't grab them, really. Just kind of... They're like a seahorse, they're a type of seahorse. Oh yeah, look at that. Snap. He's really cool looking. And he's off. So what was that? What was it called? Pipefish. Pipefish. I don't know like the exact species of pipefish, but it's adequately pipefish. named, then I guess, eh? Mate, crabs having it. See you later, mate. Yeah, go on, try and get him. So Jacob's trying to uh, film this pipefish just down here now, but it's pretty cool what you can see in these sort of things, you know, like the tides coming in gradually, and these rock pools are alive, mate. We've seen a few crabs so far, pipe fish, um, another little fish. I take this stuff for granted. I think because I live in the center of the country, it, it, I don't really see the need to know what these things are. Um, but while we're here now, obviously down in Cornwall, it's pretty cool to be in and around it, seeing what all these things are, because a pipe fish would never have had a clue what that is. Do you know what I mean? But there we go, just like sort of held one. It's really weird. Look at that. That's so weird, isn't it? Do you know what? Like, the feeling of that was really strange. It's really, really... Um, squishy. Squishy, yeah. Proper squishy. Can I pull it out of the water? Uh, probably not the best. Not the best, no. Fair enough. But I'll, I'll let him go. Go on then, mate. Off you go. He's stuck to me. <laughs> Jake, he's stuck to me, son. Get off me, boss. There's another one there. Right, well... <laughs> I didn't anticipate this. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a starfish. Where? Oh, snap. And there. And there, and there, and there. The weirdest though is if you look, you can see it all moving. Oh, me, yeah, strange. Pretty though. Well, we've got a hermit crab down here. Which one? Where? Where? I'm not sure yet. Good. Let me have a look. Wait, I can't even see what you're looking at. Where is it? This guy here. Oh snap, is this going to be a St. Saint, Saint Piran's? Is it? Yeah. Is it actually? It is. Yeah. So right. this, this is what you were after? Yeah. There you go. And this is the one out. that was extinct in the wild? Oh snap, look, yeah, he's coming. Oh, he's gone. I scared it. I'm so sorry. They're really colourful though, compared to like our other, like, uh, hammer crabs and stuff. Yeah. They're also easy to tell them apart. One is the colour, but also their pincers are the same size. Right, the okay. One's, one's bigger than the other. Okay, so these are symmetrical. 
Yeah, and that eyes are also the Cornish flag. Oh man, I can't believe we've actually found it. I, was, I thought, because like, if you look at the size of that compared to what we're actually trying to deal with, that is really quite a difficult thing to find, right? Well, that's actually mad. I was honestly, I wasn't expecting to uh, see anything, considering how the uh, the snorkel went and it was absolutely terrible. Mm. Um, to then come rock pool in, I mean, we've seen we've seen quite a lot of wildlife, right? Like pipe oh, there's fish. One right there. well. There's another one. Yeah. What? This is mad. So we've actually just found a rock pool that's actually got loads of them in. Oh look, look, look! There's there he is. There. He's on the move. He's going, mate. Look. Oh wow! Look at these. There's loads of them here. There's like a wrestle going on. Me? What? This is this is madness. This this is UFC of the crab world. Well, that's an absolute result considering the start we had, where I thought it was going to be really cool looking out, snorkeling over here, to then come over to this sort of uh, these rock pools right next to it, and then to then find these little guys here, once extinct in the UK, like this one. Look, he's on the move. Um, it's just it's mad cool to see. Not even just one of them as well. There's actually quite a few just in this one rock pool. It'd be interesting to think like, have we missed out on a load of these already? Wicked. Well, that's amazing. I wasn't expecting to see it. I... It's pretty cool, isn't it? Flip it, eh? It's crazy out yeah. Rock pools, mate. That's where it's at. That is where it's at. And obviously, living in the middle of the UK or the middle of England, I don't get to get to the ocean very often. I don't get to go. To rock pools um the closest one to me is like two hours away so it's not sort of a trip that i make very often but this is really cool right well that's pretty wicked i can't lie sick mate well done good job finding that because i would have never found it but obviously we got captain keen over here with the saint pyrian crab well at least we were able to bring you something really rare and was once extinct in the uk that's pretty cool isn't it um Shame about the underwater snorkels and that, but that was... We saw some cool stuff. We saw yeah, I mean, spider crabs. Spider crab tried to have you. Yeah. That was, that was pretty exciting for me. Um, <laughs> but no, honestly, what a beautiful day out here in Falmouth. Um, St. Piran's crabs down here, once extinct in the UK. But yep. now on the Wildlife with Cookie channel. Big up. So, guys, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, stay tuned for the next part of the Cornwall series. What are we doing next, mate? What's going on next? What are we doing? We're going to look for some dippers. Dippers. Dippers big dippy birds so stick around check out the video that's just over here somewhere and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you very much take care